What's up everybody, welcome back to Switchcraft, and I've been doing this for a little bit over a month now. Before I started this channel, I thought that I had a pretty decent video game collection, but as it turns out, uh, it was pretty lacking. So I've done my best over the last month to start building up my library. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys through today some of the best hauls that I've found on websites like Craigslist, LetGo, and Kijiji. And here we go. So we're going to start with the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance stuff that I was able to pick up. So up first, we have a complete in-box, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for the Game Boy Color. That is complete in-box with manual and a mint condition cartridge. And I was also able to find Pokemon Emerald and Pokemon Ruby. So these are two great Pokemon games that I haven't played for a long time. I actually had these before and then I lost the cart. So definitely going to have to revisit this one. Now these ones are actually in pretty decent shape. Both of them have just a little bit of uh, kind of wear and tear along the corners and the edges. But other than that, no, uh, no creases and mint condition manuals and game carts. So Emerald and Ruby. One of the parts of my library that I was really lacking was the Nintendo 64. I only got about 15 or 20 games for it. Now, granted, they're all pretty good titles, um, but this is definitely something that I'm looking at improving over the next several months. And the title that I was able to pick up uh, about last weekend was this mint condition copy of uh, Banjo-Kazooie. And this is complete inbox, no creases, no nothing. Um, any little sticker here is actually on the little case protector. So really excited about this and uh, actually going to play this one. Moving forward in time, I was able to pick up uh, three GameCube games and these are The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. That is uh, complete in box. So that's great. I actually uh, have not played this one. One of the few Zelda titles that I haven't played. And the classics. Pikmin and Pikmin 2. Okay, um, I actually already got started on the uh, first Pikmin and it is oddly satisfying. I cannot wait to play through the rest of this and then start Pikmin 2. I uh, picked up a Wii U and so Pikmin 3 is ready to go. And here's for Pikmin 4 on the Switch. Um, the original Pikmin was unfortunately without the label or without the um, manual, but the disc is in great condition. And Pikmin 2 is complete. So excited about that. Now for the last kind of surprise for everybody that I was able to pick up, uh, I'm going to go get it. So give me a second, but it is probably one of the best Craigslist classifieds find you're ever going to find. So be back in one sec. All right, you ready for this? So uh, I was just randomly searching on uh, an app called Let's Go, which is very similar to uh, Craigslist or Kijiji. And um, what you have to do on those kind of apps is I found out that look for something that you want in terms of like retro games. And you have to be extremely, extremely quick because there's a lot of stores that buy and sell and trade retro video games and they constantly go through these apps looking for just the average guy who posts it uh, so that they can pick it up extremely quickly offer them cents on the dollar and then resell it for whatever retail is going for so I was just at work one day and I saw this bad boy pop up and instantly messaged the guy because it was for an amazing price and so for $110 is what I uh, eventually negotiated him down to. I was able to find perhaps one of the best retro uh, classified pickups you're ever going to find. It is a Super Nintendo Donkey Kong set in its original box in extremely good condition. And you can even see the uh, Kmart sticker right over here as proof of purchase. So even the inside is in amazing condition. The styrofoam's mint and uh, as an extra little treat, the guy threw in 
a, I'd say eight out of 10 condition Donkey Kong Country strategy guide. So um, I do have the adapter. Now actually N64 um, AV cables work for this. So I'm gonna hook this up and uh, hopefully over the next little bit, be able to show you some uh, streaming from this bad boy. So there you go. These were my hauls over the last two weeks. And while the library isn't even close to being completed yet, I feel like I made uh, an amazing amount of progress over the last 10 days. Let me know what some of your best classified finds of all time have been. Thanks for checking out Switchcraft in this episode of Building My Library. Take care, guys.